Yo, 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 Urban Logic, we in the building today, man, I got uh, two people along with me here, they've been here several times, man, should I even tell you who the hell they are at this point? I mean, please we, introduce We're going to get into it, who, okay. just go ahead, yeah, you, since, since you was me. going ahead, uh, just go ahead, <laughs> man, tell them who you are, man, where they can find you at. Uh, the chubby gentleman to your left is Hollow. You knew that. You knew that. I think they're going to be to your right. No, 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 to your left. Oh, uh, no. So, uh, yeah, your left right now. Who's here on the left side? Hollow. No. Anyway, I'm Hollow. You didn't say you, me I specifically. Said I, I, I meet you. I'm oh, sorry. you're speaking to me. I'm speaking to you. Okay, yes. sorry about that. Communication cleared that up. the key. Some uh, of people would have got angry just then. <laughs> 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 All right, all right. Uh, Johnny Helen Jr. on Facebook, Rogue Scholar 19, everywhere else. Get out there after me. I'm, it's worth it. It's worth it. Look at me. That's it. That's him. I do my own stunts, as you can tell. Who the hell are you, man? It's your boy, Jimmy Smooth. Uh, you can reach me at heyyoungworldmedia at gmail.com. And uh, on Instagram, it's Ben Fly, it's just 84 part 2. Uh, and then we got the Instagram, Hey Young World Media, at Hey Young World Media on Instagram. So reach out to me on that. You, I'm sorry, I was somewhere. <laughs> did you, did you say your? I did not even shout out Hey Young World Media. My uh, bad. Man. No, I'm just, Did you <laughs> say your? Did my, you say your? Okay. Rogue, Rogue Scholar 19 everywhere else. Well, this is Rudy Ray 85 on Twitter and Instagram. I don't really do much on Instagram like that. I need to start doing it. Um, on Facebook, it's just Rudy Ray. Uh, I'm on there, man. Uh, shit. Let's get this shit started, man. Do it, <laughs> I'm Instagramming this right now. Are you, are you lying? Yeah, nah, he's not. Nah, yeah, no. Nah, nah. No way. <laughs> you know better. Reach that. out to me, though, if you'd like me to. No, no, so I had a, I had a question. I, I just had a question I wanted to discuss. So, you know, if you, if your nigga, either either one of y'all, you know, just jump in. If your nigga be stealing, do you think he gonna put his hustle on hold for you because he is you his nigga? Like in other words, you think he not gonna steal from you? He steal from everybody. He didn't stole from. Him. Mama, everybody. You think he's not going to steal from you? Uh, I, I, I believe, you know, it all depends on the individual and, you know, how what type of person they are. Uh, I do know people that steal that have never stolen from me. That's give him the opportunity? I mean, I, I guess so. You I mean, did give him the opportunity to steal from you? I mean, yeah, anytime you let somebody into your home and you know they steal, like, you know, I mean, like, did you leave him alone, though? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm not going to say I left him. No, I didn't leave him, just leave him in my crib, but. It's I, 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 I didn't left him in a room. But I didn't yeah, yeah, left him in a room without asking yeah, him to clap his hands. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I know a few people that, that like, they used to steal, man, and, like, they never took nothing from me. So, I, I, I think it's all about how the person feel about you. You know what I'm saying? How they, how they... I, I don't think, I don't think they gonna put, like, if they Jones, it might not even be nothing substantial. It could be something small, like, they clipped, like, took a note out the ashtray, or... But see, here's it, here it is, that's gonna happen, that's gonna happen. I don't think what? I think somebody taking a note. Somebody go take a note. That's 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 cracking. He said that's hot. No, you better keep that note where you find that ain't yours. You don't take none that ain't yours, man. It's true, and that's terrible. I, yeah, that's, man. I ask, ask. Ask. I think in that community, these like lighters, these things just a lighter a little I bit more understanding. More accidental though. I mean, yeah, but I mean, we that? we friends. I feel like. If you came to my house, no. if you came to my house right now and it was a J in the ashtray, and it probably is, are you gonna hit? I'm gonna ask you first. Yeah, that's how you do that. Oh, yeah. that's how you do that. One. You ask me because I, because you know I'm gonna be a dick with you, dog. I never know, but I wouldn't. But you, you know, know anybody? But you could, you know, you could. Like uh, Dre would do that. He come to my house and just 
Go in the fridge. Y'all Come different, on. though. Yeah. True, but you know what I'm saying? And that, and that's so, the, so I mean, you supposed to just so you can just steal from me? You know what I'm saying? That's different. That's I'm completely saying, different. That's the point I'm trying to make. You said him and Joy were different. The way they, their, 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 their friendship was different from you and his. But that's right? not steal. No, hold on, no, no. Let me tie that in. What if Joy, what if Joy did steal? Right? Like, no, nah, period. That's what he in did. General? Yeah, that's what he did. That's what I do. I feel that shit in here. That's what I You know I what I mean? Would you I feel like that? everybody who do something shysty yeah. has a safe zone. Most and people like, do. Yeah, most people. Yeah. And uh, if your if if your safe zone is over here, because that's where you're gonna tap at, you gonna do. You gonna tend to not do nothing to get you kicked out your safe zone. It's kind of like don't bite the hand and feed you right. kind of thing. Right. You know what I mean? If I can come over, if I know I can come over here and eat, tap, maybe take a nap and, and not have to worry about nothing, then I'm not going to mess up over here. I'm not going to be over here still. That's the last place I need to get kicked out of forever because, you know But they I'm might think you're not going to notice. Like, like I we got yeah. so loaded last night. He ain't yeah, even okay. pay no attention oh, to that. Yeah. Like, so... Like, Who stole from you, man? You alright? No, I'm just asking, like, because I be seeing people be like kicking it with people who be thieves or who be boosters, yeah, and I then they be surprised yeah, when shit come up missing. Yeah, like, yeah. a booster should have steal from me. You going the wrong way, man. Where you think they developed hey. the talents to steal from the store? Yeah, that should have been in your youth. You going the wrong way, cause you this stuff. Why did I get this quick? This is a quick hit, real you quick. You supposed to come to me after you hit the stick and let me cop. You you going around? You working backwards? Man, what's your story? Hey, what still the doing? joint is not acceptable. No, it's bro. not. It's never. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying either, take but, the whole thing. You know, you can't knock a man. I'm gonna have to. I need to. I need to, I need to start making get some it. phone calls around to see where we can get you some help at if you're stealing joints out the ashtray oh, from me, bro. Like, I gotta start. Listen, that spot right on top of all of that. Have you ever had a joint stolen out of your ass? Because I know you have. It's a story about that. We don't know for sure, but I'm sure I know. Uh, listen, I was hanging out with a young lady. Uh, we'll say no names. Let's call her Karen because I like that one commercial. Hi, <laughs> Karen. Uh, so I'm hanging out with Karen, and uh, she comes over to tap, and we have a, we have a good time. It's, it's, it's good times we're at. Not too good a time. You know, I don't want anybody to read into that. We can sign out. Uh, and prior to her arrival, I had other things going on. I wrote a joke. Okay. Nice. Oh, it's beautiful. On the king. A king. Yeah, and a king. king roller. He used the roller still. Yeah. We talked about that Did yesterday. Did you really want to say that? or We've already said it, haven't we? Yeah. Childish. Ah. Right. Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, this was many years ago. <laughs> it was. This was a long time ago. <laughs> True story. Long time ago. Ah. Uh, when she left, I ne- let's just say I never found that joint again, ever, like ever. I never, I'm still to this day looking for it. I think I can't. I came while she, she came was, over. I came over while she was and there. So like, I was gonna partake with this dude. This my dude. I already got him look here. He just. I come in like, and he like, where, where? Wait a minute. We looking under the couch. Under the cushions. Man, listen, so I know she's only been me and her there. It wasn't me, like, you know? So, yes, and if she listened, I know you recognize this story. That's fine. Have you ever invited this individual? Nah, she ain't back to my house. She ain't going back to the crib. She used to kick it with, like, uh, dirty, uh, like mulatto dudes who like had like oh, hair and like bomb oh. braids, like yeah, that, yeah, that drink yeah. Bud Ices all day yeah, and listen thing. to Bone and shit. Oh, yeah, that was her thing? Yeah, yeah shit. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I thought she was a nice young lady. I was obviously mistaken. She be, I don't I know, know, man. She be cool. She be cat. She be cool, but she's still. And, uh, she be, I don't know. She, be, she a lie about that. Like. And that too. So. And her dude to be trying to wrestle you on the internet. Like, <laughs> wrestle you on the internet? How does that work? You talking to my girl about that? <laughs> man, get out of here, man. Get out of here, man. So, yes, that has happened to me before. So, so, you, you, so you trying to tell me that you don't think that 
just because they your peoples, they won't steal from you? If they be out here stealing, you can steal from your mommy, you can steal from anybody, so that's it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I got a few I got a few niggas I know that I know have stole from me before. Well, I mean that's that's on another level. Like, right? the niggas steal from his mama, you ain't got nothing. Coming. Man, I didn't got I didn't got like went somewhere like like got in the car, dropped somebody off or something, and then realized my change is like just not in the all the change, not in the little change. See, at that point, away, I like, hope you realize you had to change the niggas. <laughs> <laughs> like you can't kick it with them niggas, man. You know, like just can't kick it. I'm with like, them. man, this dude needed like. 79 cent batter in the month, man. Uh, God oh, damn, man. boy. You needed that 79, huh, man? Yeah, man, he did, man. About, you know, that's about 79 money. cent. That's my own money, and he still need it. He still, he still need, need a couple more. more. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, nah, he can just go get a port for 50 cent. He still, they still do that. They still do get a Lucy. They had two for still. a dollar, ain't they? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I be seeing niggas with just rifles out here. Yeah, bro. it's rifles going around. Yeah, uh, a rifle is a Newport 100. Yeah, I'll get that at the bottom yeah. of the screen over there. Uh, a rifle is going to be a Newport 100. That it's a rifle because it's longer than a motherfucker, man. I mean, it's just them hundreds. Them rifles. Yeah. It just seem like people be smoking them forever. Yeah. <laughs> and, Jeez, and, 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 uh, you know, Terrence Howard do smoke a good jig, but dude on Mudbound smoked the fuck out of that jig. I think I said that before. On the show. Yeah, he was over here to watch Mudbound. Remember the nigga? He came, we went to the war and came back. Oh, it was yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't watch the whole thing. You didn't? I left. Did you? Did I? Yeah, I think I left. We well, seen him sure. hit the jig. I seen him hit the jig, though. Yeah. yeah. He's tapping it down. He tapped it down and everything, bro. Brought the jig away from his face and like let the. I think he let the he let the fire go off by shaking that mug. That's a, that's how you know when he, when a nigga let that when you shake that bitch like that nigga. Shout out to you, man. I was, that was man. Yeah, that I don't know, man. They be stealing though. Yeah, stealing is you gonna steal. You stealing? It's terrible. Don't steal. Don't steal. I've stolen in my life. I used to steal from the corner store. I wouldn't say I'm a stealer. Like I can, I'll be out here stealing. Everybody did too. I used to have, I used to steal uh, magazines from Walmart. Stories magazine. When I was very young, I used to uh, take chains that just used to be at the house though. Take who? Some chains, like some chains would be at the house. I just take it and I got checked. I got, I got checked about that real quick. Yeah. Like, yeah, nigga, you know, like nigga, you just been shit. taking my chains, nigga. Yeah. I beat your ass. <laughs> okay, let it like, be silver, huh? Let it be silver too. Oh, well, it was. It was whatever yeah. chain, cause they just put chain in the thing. I used yeah, to just they, take they that shit. I'm about to go that. to the store. Oh, ice cream truck change. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it happened. But yeah, I used to get a thrill off of stealing my things from Walmart. Why? Why? You, you thought you were sticking it to the man or something? <laughs> Maybe that's what I was doing. Yeah, I know. I was about 12. I was old enough to know better. To know better than me stealing magazines, magazines from Walmart. Walmart. They got to be in cause your mom into an office for no fucking reason because you stealing magazines. Because she wants a new slam. You know what else? We're talking about magazines. Man. Time, man. It's like I practice. A, I took a smear off ice man at a grocery store, went into the bathroom, and crushed it. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga was sick as it's fuck. Sick. Ah, this nigga's organs started shutting down. <laughs> <laughs> How old was you, nigga? I was about, about 12. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I, was, I was older than that, though. I was, I was older than that. Say, nigga, I was older than that. I was, I was, I was, I was in high school, though. No, that that might not school. have caught up to you yet. No, I was in high school. Man. I was older than that, though. Yeah, I'll never forget that. Bro. That nigga said he snuck a smear off in the bathroom. He crashed. He it. Yeah, it's no, it's eyes are no, 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 no,
you I thought you were with the guy that was talking about. What you get? You get like a deuce? Yeah, like a deuce, or you just got no, like one out of a six pack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What, what flavor was it, man? <laughs> that was, that was, that's how I know it, that was before they got into all the different flavors of smell off ice. It was just yeah, yeah, look, these yeah. niggas, alright, so I'll never forget. Hey, I'm calling y'all niggas out. So what? I ain't calling y'all out. I'm just bringing up the story. Like, hey, y'all gonna have to just be mad at me, bro. Like, so this nigga. Lil E, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Lil, shout out to E, man. Shout out to E, man. Shout out to E, my nigga, man. Uh, Finley, my nigga K Finn, yeah. and Steve, man. Yeah. Steve. And they over there drinking. We like 17, you know what I'm saying? 16. I'm like, I don't drink at all. Like, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm like, nah, bro. Like, where's the sm- Where I got? Nick, I, I ain't drinking at all. Mm-hmm. So we all drinking, and well, they drinking. I'm not drinking, and like I'm like, why is y'all drinking that? Like, cause that was like the only thing you really could get from the spot we used to go to. I won't say what spot it is. They wouldn't give us that shit. So them, that's the shit that niggas that have to do if you don't prepare. Cause if you don't prepare and have a bottle already in place for you to drink. Then you're not gonna be able to do it. And just a disclaimer, I am not promoting underage drinking right now. Not at all. That's not what we do here. I don't even drink with people who's underage in real life. I don't. I don't really be around people who can't drink in real life. My little brother, yeah, my little brother beyond 21. So yeah, no. Uh, so yeah, basically these guys are just drinking, smearing off flavored joints and. It's smelling terrible. I think the raspberry was the flavor of the evening. <laughs> and these niggas was earling all over the place, bro. Like, it was just terrible. It's I'm terrible. just looking at these niggas like, why is y'all drinking that? Like, you know what I'm saying? But I wasn't drinking that at all. But a lot of people used to drink shit like that because they didn't have the options to get the, like, some Hennessy or... You had to, Get some great goose. You just had to have somebody that would know be. somebody or have facial hair. It was yeah, real. Yeah, it was yeah, back in the day. Couple times, nigga, I just stood outside the liquor store. Yeah, I mean, but listen, back in the day, it was yeah, loose. I never done that. You never done that. Never done. Yeah, that. it was loose yeah. back in the day though, because you would be able to, if you had facial hair. Back then, like, yeah, you could go in there and just get that shit. They wouldn't even ID you, nigga, if you had facial hair. Because some niggas do, is, some niggas is old in the face, though, man. Like, I know some niggas that was, like, 35 when they was, like, 16. <laughs> like, nigga, your face old, bro. You look like a, you look like a father, bro. Like, this nigga, like, I ain't talking about, uh, you had a baby. I'm talking about, like, a father, you like, mm-hmm. you like, you like, like, yeah, like, nigga, like, nigga, you like, got a dog Boy, named sure. Boris, and like, you got a, a job you've been at for the past twenty years. Like, you, yes. you coming up on your retirement? You, you got a, a <laughs> Eddie Hudson face. Eddie Hudson. That's uh, was fucking Ghostbusters. What's his name? Ernie Hudson. Ernie Hudson. Yeah, you got an Ernie Hudson face, man. Like, I knew a nigga. That had an Ernie Hudson face when we was like in the ninth grade. I'm like, damn, nigga. You the nigga copping y'all bottle or you wasn't drinking that? Nah, I mean, his face was just like. Oh. Yeah, he's, dog. Like, he's come of age, obviously. Uncle, like. <laughs> call that nigga <laughs> Uncle when he's 12 years old, bro. But y'all don't know, man. So, what, Joe, y'all final on that? I, I say that. Hey, if you be stealing, you would steal from me too. I don't like Yeah, it. stealing, you stealing. If you if you be stealing, you gonna steal from me or something. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, yes. I'm gonna try to make it so you never have that opportunity to steal anything I need. I learned from a young lady. I'm not bitter. Yeah, hey man. I, hey, if you be out here stealing, and and they. Most people ain't gonna just be like, yeah, I took that. So, yeah. Factor that in, man. Like, you really gotta slow oh, down. You gotta be speedballing. That's why you can't, you gotta be watching who you. Run away. Just people, Run people, away. period. Just, you know, no, I ain't letting everybody in the house. Yeah, I mean, like. I ain't letting everybody in the car. 
So yeah, yeah, I ain't get. You gotta watch like that. That'd be crazy. I don't like if I ask you if you got a warrant and you tell me. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Because that makes me all get out the car and get searched. Like, I got me, if you got a warrant, at least let me know so I can have nothing yeah. that I don't need to have or that I got my affairs in order, bro. Because you won't. You gonna sink me because of you. You think they gonna clip? I think they gonna do what? You think they gonna steal? Like, you, you, they think they gonna steal from you, like your peoples, like if. Like, I mean, I'm just telling you off of my experience. Uh, no, I mean it, it all depends on that individual, how y'all, how y'all rock with each, with each other. You know what I mean? You ain't never had like a shirt you can't find or a hat you can't find. <laughs> <or something like that. laughs> So you so just, just can't find that shit. Well, That's the nigga who took you, bro. Yeah, you know I mean, what I'm saying? You know, that, you know what? That has happened to me. That has happened to me. That's the nigga who took you, bro. I understand bro. that. But see, that situation was totally different because I didn't even see that shit coming. That's what we said. That's the whole point. We don't know. know. You said you're talking about a motherfucker. You know that still. But it's your dude. So you looking at it like... But you I know, this I nigga mean, I, I, did never know, I never know him to take anything up until that point. What do you mean? What you mean? You didn't know him to take what? Anything from you? Yeah, I guess. But I mean, he, I you never knew he know, took I never, I never, No, no. I, this person I'm talking about, no, I did not. Oh, you saying you didn't know he took shit until he took something from you. Exactly. I didn't, I, he didn't have a reputation as far as how I you knew. Know it was you, how you know it was him? It was, it was him, told it was him or his people. Like, I mean, because it was like, you know. Oh, so guilty by people. association. Well, like, so it, it since wasn't, you brought the motherfucker over here. Well, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't very many. It wasn't other very many other people in the in the in the, in the situation or in the, in the building besides us. You, you know trust right? him more. I'm, I mean, the point is, is <laughs> it was. <laughs> <really easy. laughs> Because I'm trying to see how it became oh, what? I didn't even know there was other people there. I just, well, that well, question well, led to that. three of us sitting at this table right now, right? Yeah, if something come up stank, I got it's y'all two it's niggas one together. Of it's yeah. one of y'all niggas. Yeah. It, was like, it, was set, it was just like that. So who uh, brought him over here? Did y'all come on your own? Oh, no, I, I, went, I, went, I, I, I went to I went to his spot. Oh, oh, you went to it. Oh, you, 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 you walk away from somebody else's house. I am. Yeah, everybody said you got robbed. <laughs> that wasn't stealing. You got robbed. Whatever, man. So I mean, you called and asked if it was there, and they said no. Yeah. Yeah, that happened to me before. Yeah, exactly. I, mean, I ended up, I ended up leaving it, and bro, you know that's different. That's, that's different. That's it's different. Was a, yeah. Well, huh? You want to say what it was? You don't have to. I just want to. Ask that's different because I, if you no, left, if you it, left, it was a little, was a little container. Though. That's a little different yeah. because if you left, and then it was other people there, anybody, any of them could have took it at that point. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's free for all. At that point, you don't know who's who. Yeah, you don't know. So just cancel all this shit. So you, you know say I mean? brat to everybody. I mean, you have, I mean, you have to. I mean, took from the standpoint. Go west side, yeah. west side. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine, but man. I mean, yeah, yeah, you have to though, man. Because if you don't, then you gonna set yourself up. You gonna take a chance next time, and it could be something way more. Well, I mean, I would have just stopped by, like you know what I'm saying. Like you gotta, sometimes you gotta just pop be like up. pop up, like not even so, pop up, like just knock at the door, just call, and be like, "What's good, man? What you into?" And they could be like, "Shit, chilling at the crib." You be like, "Oh, all right." I'm about to pull up on you real quick. Like, make sure you already about to be pulling up. So then you pull up fast. And when you pull up, you get to the environment. You can walk in there and see this hey, motherfucker might know. be so dumb to where this motherfucker don't even know to think to put that away because it's so deceiving. Well, what this situation was. No, nah, I'm saying like you, can pull up, you can pull up like that, though. Well, I'm, I'm just saying. saying and then you like, can just be on the phone like, oh, yeah, I got to get up out of here, bro. My bad. I got to go. Just to uh, see. I just need to see. I I seen what I needed to see from that, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, it, it wasn't there, you know what I'm saying? I know it was there, and yeah. deal with it according. Like, you He's know, a pretty lousy friend. He's a pretty lousy friend. I mean, man, I, I mean, what would you say? Like, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, if, if you left something at my house and then... It's gone. gone. Yeah, you know. But what if it, it, what if I didn't take, take it, though? What if I didn't take it, though? You left it at, you know what I mean? But what if I didn't take it? And it just... Well, actually, the, 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 the more, there's more to the story, like, you 
know what I mean? I did end up going back in the looking for it. You know what I'm saying? But that's what made it even more like weird. Twilight like Zone. it, cause when I put it, yeah, hell yeah, like Twilight like, Zone to the point where like it had me tripping for a minute. That I, and then I was like, yeah, I know I put it right here. So it's not quite yeah. like what bike. It's it's more like. <laughs> <laughs> That, yeah, that's how it's like, like what, what bike? I don't know what you talk. Not like what bike? Yeah, like nigga, no, this shit ain't. Like <laughs> <that too. laughs> no, it wasn't like a hostile environment. <laughs> nah, it was like on some weird shit. Like why like the Twilight Zone? Like, like everybody's looking straight ahead. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, <laughs> man. But I, I feel like if you, that's a that's different though. Cause that ain't like really like. That ain't like stealing, like, like wait till you go to another room. Like, it is kind of wait, but they ain't know you was going to leave it there, though. You know what I'm saying? When you left it there, that's, that's, that just opened the floodgates. This is like, I'm talking about you there, and you be like, I'm about to go use the bathroom. And you come back from the bathroom, and it's gone, and everybody like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh my God. That's crazy. I'm like, it's all the same. I'm like, I'm like, like shit out of it. Yeah, niggas trying to do shit like that, man. That's. That's a very unfortunate thing, man, because that causes problems within the black community. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish niggas Why does it cause feeling. problems in the Well, black I community. mean man, first of all, man, niggas, you know, some niggas don't have no filter out here. Some niggas are killed. They don't, people, man. For the littlest thing, man. Right. So, you know, that's the For the littlest like, thing. Niggas are killed, niggas are Take beef. you out for niggas something. Niggas be out here beefing about a bitch, like, so you know, you take an ounce of weed from a nigga, he might murder you, you know. Yeah, I don't, he might. He might, like, nowadays, yeah. It's serious out here like that, man. It is serious. It been serious about a female, though. Like, that's not, even, that's not even get off into that. Nigga you could, a nigga could get robbed. And don't do shit. And don't do shit about that shit. And a nigga fuck his bitch. And then if I his bitch, he will take your blue off, boy. Or if you embarrass a nigga in front of a nigga that he love, he'll take your blue off. Or if you embarrass a nigga in front of a nigga that he love and shit, like if a nigga like on a nigga's dick like real hard, like like we got like next ep- I believe I don't want to make no promises. I think next episode we gonna dive off in the dick right and give a whole definition of that. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get right. all the way. Being on the next is what we call it. We ain't even say dick right. Just being on the next. Cause all you seeing people being on the next, you, it'd be sad. Like you would be on the next in hopes of discounts and uh, what is it? Uh, superlatives? No, not superlatives. No. Incentives that can come from you. Like if I just ride your dick hard enough, you'll plug me in there somehow. Right. Like you know what you I'm saying? Need to connect. Like nah, man. Like that's why Benny Blanco shot dude. You gotta end up shooting him. Carlitos way. Yeah. What? It beats that way. Because why? He helped him set up. He helped him. He was so thirst. He so thirsty to be with the new, the new popping motherfucker. Yeah. That he was willing to fucking get Carlito killed, so he could be running with him, like to where he even said it to him. Sorry, Carlito. It beats that way sometimes, Poppy. And he was like, "Come on, let's go." And that nigga Benny Blanco was like, "Stay here." And he like, "Bow." Hit the ground, bro. But yeah, I mean, like that. Being on the next is very dangerous, man. It's extremely dangerous, and it can lead to mental disabilities. Cry. Cause you're gonna be out here in a false reality, being on the next. You know what I'm saying? You said mental disability, huh? That shit is. You somewhere else when you out here doing that. Cause you're not even being yourself at all. Like, well, you I think that's what that's Jay Reed. Like, you're not comfortable. Jay Reed. You said Jay Reed. Yeah, everything. You you basically. Yeah, you, gotta you, know, you gotta let people know where this shit coming from, man. In too deep. Yeah, in too deep. Like, in too deep, Jay Reed. Like, Jay Reed. Look, an inf- a, a, a detective. A detective. Look, you basically. You basically a detective, but you ain't the police. You basically a detective, but you're not the police. You're going to do stuff in order to try to get noticed by this person. You try to move up the ranks by being on the next. You're on the next. You want him bad as hell. He the one you want. So you know you got to find the generals and shit so you can man, get to him. Man, that's not man. No, it's, that's you being on the next. I'm just saying, though. Yeah. Like, that's what you said, being people on the People do that, that, though, bro. Yeah, I don't people, know I see, look, do that. It's people that, that I know people don't like certain people at all. You don't like this person at all. 
But you will get on their social media and act like y'all just buddies in, in hopes of, you know, people Buddy. coming flooding to you. Like, that's another way to do it. Like, or they get like the one nigga that they be like, they hate this nigga on. Like, some people hate this nigga. Like, he just be getting on there and just shit on niggas and shit. Just preach. He be in the car and shit. Oh, with the camera. Like, yeah, you know, nigga, if you wasn't, if you treated her like a queen, you like, man, he, shut the fuck up, man. He is corny. Hey, what the fuck are you talking about, man? That's yeah, like the niggas who become personal night, trainers to get laid. To drop the free feels like uh, Marlon on, uh, yeah, like, on Nordic. Like, oh, like, tap on the time at all, man. What, which Come one? On uh, shit on a uh, personal trainer to try to, you got to get yourself in shape. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you got to work for it. <laughs> you a scammer lightweight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, I, uh, yeah, yeah, we can do some that. personal <laughs> sessions. <laughs> <laughs> Come by the house and work your right out. That's part of that Me Too shit, man. Oh, uh, man, that's like Me Too. Like, shit, since we talking about that, we might as well get off into Larry Nassar, man. Listen. He based Michigan State based though, they, bro. He been there for like twenty years, bro. I'm sure it's not just Michigan State though. No, it's every. I think I think stuff like that happening at every school, every school. I do. Every school. And that's terrible. Cause look at how Penn State. Look at how bad they made Penn State look. Like in, in Penn, Penn State, State look, there, people man. start when Penn State the heads were they got paterno out of there. That's how real it was. Like, but dude was doing kids. They said as low as age of like five or six. Like, bro, my daughter eight, man. And my daughter was one. I would be if if my daughter was a hundred, I would be offended. It's Listen, terrible. Like, I don't have any children, and I'm offended. That's terrible. Yeah, very really much so. Uh, you make, make Before he went to the joint, he looked at like a poor man's Bob Saget. Like he was not Bob Saget. It makes you wonder what goes God. through the mind of somebody like that, though. Yeah, a little weight on his face. What goes Saget. through the mind of somebody like what would make him, you know, fuck with kids, man? That's, that's a whole nother con- so that's, conversation. That's I mean, it is, though. It is. That's a whole nother conversation. So they gave him like what 175 years what he was facing, and then. Uh, he ended up getting like what the forty. He got to do sixty, and then after he do the sixty, he got to do the other forty, and then yeah. well, he's, not he's never getting out. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's gonna be out of here. But I mean, people like that man said they be out of here, and I don't feel like they should be. So you know, yeah, I agree with that. I, I'm no. happy. You know, so 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 so. What about the uh, what about the pop? Hold on, hold on. We're not even going to get into the Pops. Yeah, uh, wait a minute. Uh, the Pops. The Pops, hey, you you special, man. My dude Randall, man. We're going to just call you Randy around here, man. Uh, you man. white Randy, because we already got a Randy, yeah. man. So you <laughs> white Randy, dog. Uh. You cool, though, with my book. Is you cool with white Randy? You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. We gonna, I, are you cool with white Randy? I think you would be cool with white Randy if you kicked it with us and saying, you know. <laughs> You would get an inside. We would it. probably just call you Randy to your face. Not like it depends you. on that Randy around, though, because yeah. we gotta be able. Like, we don't want y'all both to look. It will only be when it needed to be a discerning. And I don't know if George Foreman's kids live with him, but didn't yeah. he name all his yeah. kids yeah. George? George, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta. That's gotta suck. You probably way. be like four, <laughs> five, five. Get your ass over here. Now, he said it was you. What you cooked? To call which one he would just cook something like I ah, open the big one like trying to sell them grills with yeah, 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 yeah man you know you know when they be trying to sell something man just start making up stories the and big shit, one man. like chicken with the little one like fish <laughs> I cry dog George Foreman say if you want to talk to me start cooking some fish. Uh, blow down to the kitchen like what you waiting? So Luana Simmons, she was the Michigan State president. She looked like uh, Roger Ebert. Let me look at I it. I lost it. Roger Ebert. She looked like Roger Ebert. She do. Mm-hmm. I cried. Lightweight. That look, that's lightweight. What is Pat would look like aged. You remember the movie It's Pat? You said what is it? It's Pat. Uh, they ain't know if it was a girl or a dude. Like is it the neighbor was fascinated. You know what? The neighbor was fascinated yeah. with that dude, like yeah. or whatever it was. Who did he marry? Who did Pat marry? What's his name? 
don't know. He was messing with that girl. Like, the girl was liking him a lot, and then the dude became obsessed with it. Or it. No, Whatever. it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, damn. I wish I could remember the name. It's another name, Sam, I think. Damn. It's, it's yeah. another one like that? Yeah. I don't remember that. I'll do. It's another yeah. one like that? Yeah, and it was the same. They was getting married. And ain't nobody know what to do. Ain't nobody know what to do. So, yeah, with her, though, um, she she resigned from her position. But at, with resigning from her position, she still get all of her perks. Well, that was the really? thing of resigning instead of having yeah. fire. She still get all of her perks. That's good. That was the point of resigning instead of waiting to get fired. Listen, let me save as much as I can. Parachutes! I don't know, man. Listen, that's ridiculous. How do you still get your shit? Like, Parachutes. Like, you should be stripped of all of that. Like, you shouldn't get none of that. Why? Because that happened under her... Under her yes! Life. What do you mean? Your job quit. Your benefits and stuff. Did you know about it? Yes. They said it was brought up several times. Like, that's why she resigned. Every... People knew about this. Dude, they had over... They had statements that had came in and nobody was... I can it's been going on for a very long time. He's been doing this for years, man. It ain't like he just starts today. Yeah, like uh, let me. He's got a system in place. Now he look like a Colombian rat that was like deep in the cartel that used to drink himself. To death. He don't even look. He don't even got the Bob Saget features no more. He look like a cartoon mouse. Yeah, that, shit whooping on. that shit is kicking his ass, boy. Yeah. Just like that daddy tried to do, boy. He tried to do. Man. Yeah, he did. It wasn't executed well, man. I don't feel like he was trying to connect anyway. Yeah, man. I was. For, I feel like he's not. He didn't know how to work out the shotgun. He he would rather be like he said. Can I get a few minutes with him? He want to be face to face. He want to be right under center. Let it work right now. I can just da da da. da. That's that's how he. Nah, you ain't gonna be able to get that close. That's why exactly. you like. I got a read option exactly. where you like you do the hand off, you do the fake hand off, and but you got a Colin Kaepernick he up the middle. He's not used to working out that shotgun. And judging from him, I'm not saying he was in terrible shape or nothing like that. He was not athletic enough to just switch to the shotgun. His whole career, he been under center. Okay, he never even thought about the shotgun, and now today they go put the. Why is he 30 feet away? I gotta get over here. I gotta, it's gonna be people, it's gonna be a kind of defense in a way. He wasn't ready to work out the shotgun. He, there was no, yeah. what he should have did was call the audible. And when he was talking to that judge, at least, at least, and please I don't condone none of this, don't just do this. Uh, at least walk from behind that table. Show your emotion, because you're obviously emotional. You know what I'm saying? This is your kids, you, and, and it's killing you. They put Come from behind that he table. Up getting hurt more he ended up getting hurt. I mean, he just wanted that, that, what is it? A 10 uh, 50 second, what, 15 minutes? 15, 15 seconds, seconds of fame. Of yeah, I think he wanted, yeah, I think that's what he was trying to get. He may not ever be on TV ever again. Oh, and yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, why did somebody give him a chance to tell his. Yeah, he was showing up. He was showing, was showing up, he was showing up yeah, in that, that union, that, uh, he was showing up in that union jacket, so I think he like a firefighter or something. I don't know yeah, for sure. He, gotta, he, gotta get he always got on the, the lodge little stuff. The lodge. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> yeah. He got hurt more than dude got hurt. You mean yeah. trying to do that? Trying to do that? They yeah. fuck, they fuck. Dude, dude just imposed his will at one point. He just had him. Yeah, he he just was like, up, man. Yeah, they, they had his face. He felt that dude. Money. Remember I showed you, dude, with the buzz cut, had his foot up on the thing, like showing his car. He's a dick. Well, like you were saying, he got that haircut. Nine yeah, yeah, that yeah. That haircut, yeah, yeah, yeah. That should haircut do some, should do some, 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 some shit. You know? Yeah, you in the car, you drive off from a scene. He chasing you on foot still, like you look nah. back and he further he's back and he's still running. Like, running. <laughs> like <laughs> <that motherfucker. laughs> he's no T J. He's really cop like that, man. That's crazy. Super cop. Like, bro, I'm way up the block. Why are you still running, bro? You are not gonna catch me, fam. Yeah. He trying to catch him, get in the water or something, you know? This nigga yeah. running and just pull it, pin out of his shirt and just start writing down your on his arm. Yeah, go back to the car and run them places. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that's that above and beyond. That's and not even policing at that point. No, nah, that other dude, the Latino dude that was trying to grab him, he was looking funny as hell too, man. That's the 
Cause they had that nigga's face held down. He was looking right into the camera like cha ching. Cha ching. Man, bro, he knew like once he did that, that he knew people was gonna be like Cause people are gonna get behind that, man. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dude is sick. He did what a lot of people would have done in that situation. A lot of people wouldn't have done it, but a lot of people would have did that, man. You in there with somebody that was molesting your child, man. You wanna hurt him. You know what I'm saying? You want you 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 should be ups- uh, like you should. I don't, I mean I'm not gonna say you should. I'm gonna say you may feel like it's a bit of your fault that you like. You may feel like how did I let this happen? With my child, like, right. how, how did I, where did I go wrong, or where I let this happen? And it's not your fault, but I mean, man, like that's why you got to talk to your kids about that, man. You got to like now, like right now. I don't care how young they are. You need to talk to them about that now. Let them know, like, ain't nobody supposed to do none of that with you. So when it take place, they already know that the person that love show them the most love or should show them the most love is telling them this. So when they receive that from you, when somebody try that on them, it may not go as easy yeah. as it would if they don't know, if it's never been addressed, and it just be like somebody telling them, like, look, this how you, a person like, let's say a, mother, a kid don't know how to use a yo-yo, they go over to their friend's house and the kid know how to do the yo-yo, and they be like, look, you do it like this. They gonna see him doing it and be like, oh, all right, maybe we supposed to do this. You don't know if the yo-yo is good or bad, you just going go into the activity of doing it because this person you feel like they're giving you some type of comfort or something it's supposed to be like a friend or a loved one or something but if you put tell somebody the exact scenario like look if a, if a motherfucker do this they're gonna be like wait a minute you know what i'm saying like stove hot you know what i'm saying yeah stove is hot stove yeah. hot you know that the yo-yo was first invented as a weapon Never, no, I, didn't know that. I did hear that before. Yeah. I definitely heard that before. I can see that. Yeah, man. Randall, uh, Randall Margraves, though, man. Shout out to you for like just trying to get over that table. It wasn't a good idea, though, bro. You just got to run a better offense. Yeah, I mean, like you, you executed that so poorly. Poor I'm gonna call, say, man. I'm gonna say that you did. Like maybe if you did get contact with him, you may have went been prosecuted. Maybe. Maybe it was you know what I'm maybe. saying, and you ended up getting your hand covered because overnight, yo, they donated up to twenty three thousand dollars for you, bro. It's not about the money. It's not. I mean, them girls was. I don't know what he was doing to them exactly. But I wonder what he gonna do with the money. Who with the twenty three bands? Yeah. I mean, it should go straight to just college for them or something. If they going like whoever going to college. Or if, if they need some, hey, for real, for real, you might, you, some people not able to just put their money towards that. They got to, it's stuff they got to take care of. They can clear up debts that could like help them with their income. The wages can stop being garnished and all that type of stuff. So, what? who garnish your wages? No, like that just be happening to people. Oh, people okay. be having no, no, like, no, no. I'll man, like in this situation, and, you know, wages be getting garnished. garnished. And wages in uh, this situation already that you knew of. Never payday mind. loans and That's stuff like that. that. Like uh, one of the on Netflix with uh, that Dirty Money series with the like six different documentaries on there. One of them is about a race car driver dude that was doing like some like loan type stuff, and he was like doing the interest rates crazy on there. Like ended up taking everything away from him. But you know, one of the ones on there that was interesting though was the Volkswagen one. Like like Volkswagen shiesty like. Like, first of all, let's let's get this out of the way. Like, get out of the way. If you're a Jew and you drive a Volkswagen, I, I don't understand what's going on. Could cool. it be a German made car? Well, I mean, Hitler had everything to do with the upstart of Volkswagen. That's what I'm saying. But it, yeah, would it be a German? Yeah. I like why wouldn't. I like why if I was Jewish, I wouldn't drive a Porsche either, because he okay. helped him make. Like, dude, front of that Porsche helped him. I'll help. Do Hitler. designs of that, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. But how you driving a Volkswagen though? And you like that's that should be the last car you get. But like Volkswagen do like Audi and Lamborghini too though. Yeah. I would drive a Lamborghini and a Porsche. Somebody probably be like, well, it came after. I dominated that. I dominated him. I was able to pay for this car. 
I'm gonna rub it in his face because he would have never wanted me to have one of these cars. That's the way you could look at it, I yeah. guess. So justify the whole thing. Yeah, I guess that's how you whole justify thing it. justified. But the whole thing about them was uh like so they was like sending cars over here that was deep. They was met. They was fucked up. Like and they was putting out emissions like five times more than what they had said they was gonna be. Mm -hmm. So. With the emissions being like that, it was just fucking up the air, and we did that uh, climate control shit where motherfucker, you can't do that shit. So they had to give, they did a re uh, recall on their vehicles and shit. So during the findings with all of that though, like they was doing stuff like with the testings for them to prove it, they was do gonna start doing the testings on humans. But they is like that's not like a good idea, even in the. The thing, like, dude, like, they, like, you think in Germany it would be okay for y'all to put a human in a gas chamber, like, just think about that, like, just think about the country, like, you know what I'm saying? So, they had ended up doing it with monkeys, bro, so they had, like, trained the monkeys to watch TV, like, just straight cartoons, and the motherfuckers was inside of a box with the tubes going in that bitch, just putting the, uh... Emissions and shit in that bitch. All of that dirty air and this shit with them monkeys. Like, dude was running the test for Volkswagen. He said he don't know what they did with the monkeys. Like, after the testing was done. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. The they said they had them in there for three or four hours, bro. Like, running just constant, like, steady three, four hours. Well, I mean, how did it make them react? It made them. Nigga, the shit was fucked. Nigga, the test came back that their emissions was fucked up. Yeah, but I'm saying, how did they, they didn't tell us. They didn't tell us what happened to the monkeys. Probably died. Yeah, they probably died, bro. Yeah. You don't be giving a fuck about them animals, man. Yeah, yeah. They don't, man. They don't. Mm. They really don't. Yeah. yeah, so that was happening with that. That shit was crazy. And what all tie into that is with that Clean Air Act, them cars couldn't be out here like that. But Trump, he back he got out of that shit so now they don't have to have the cars be clean like that to drive around so now that's some shit he gonna try to do to say that look at what i'm doing for the economy where you fucking up the fucking world though motherfucker yeah true it's that short term get in get out claim bankruptcy do it again with something else like on the same uh dirty money they got one about him too Trump. About just Trump, yeah. Yeah, speaking of Trump, you know, Trump did come at Jay-Z and brought up black unemployment. What did y'all think of that Jay-Z interview uh, with Van Jones? Did you watch that shit? I did not. I you didn't watch it? Yeah, I watched you it. You watched that shit? Yeah, I did. Well, what you, what you, what you think about that interview, man? Uh, I felt like he was still promoting 444 in a sense, you know what I mean? I mean... That's pretty much what it was centered around. Uh, he speaks very well. Who, yeah. yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and that's what I be saying about when people be like, uh, people say I sound white because I speak well. No, motherfucker. Speaking well don't mean you sound white. Sounding white is, oh my God. You know, or, oh, well, I'm going to go over there and. I can't talk like that. I'm black. I mean, come on, man. Like, you probably don't, but I mean, I can't. You tell me I can't. I think that's environmental. Timber Golden went downstairs and went yeah, to the. That's, oh, that's bro. The no, they're like, dude, you don't talk like that, bro. Because you, like, you don't, man. It is an environment. It's an environmental thing. It definitely is. Well, yeah, but you only. But what environment is you getting that from? They ain't talking like that. We not talking. Why are you trying to talk like. That's like somebody that's trying to talk like a, a forefather or something. Like. Like how they talk on Fraser, like you know ain't no Negroes out here talking like that, bro. They gonna be talking only because they around them. Yes, I'm saying they molding themselves to them. That's why you sound white, bro. You sound white. That's just how you sound. You sound white. Yeah, it's definitely an environment. You sound. That's what sound white is. That's how you put on accents and stuff. That's what sound white is. Yeah, I guess. But as far as the Jay Z interview went, I thought it was a good interview. Uh... Yeah, I thought it was good. I thought it was cool that it was on, you know, CNN. That's good to see a rapper, you know what I mean, make it to that, that platform. 
Yeah, no, I'm just like more or less of what he was saying though. Like the one where he said, you know, the whole people get a blood. people get a purpose, people get a job confused with what their purpose is. Like yeah. you shouldn't you shouldn't be chasing a job. You should be fulfill, trying to fulfill your purpose. Right. Like that's real, man. Yeah, it is. That's real. Money comes and goes, man. And that's why some people don't like you can get money and it go away. But it's also about how you getting the money too, though. That factors in too, you know, with how that, cause that bring in karma and all that type of shit. Mm -hmm. Like that's what I won't do just anything for money. Yeah. I'm not at least. But I don't know. Like Trump, Trump, he, Trump tweeted back at Jay Z. He didn't tweet at Eminem, man. That shows us who had the better verse on Renegade, man. Script. You know what I'm saying? I agree with Trump on that one. Like I'm sure Trump responded because Jay Z had the better verse on Renegade. I don't know if that was the case. I think it was I know more that's not the case. Had right? more of a, yeah, I know. I'm just, I know. Yeah, Jay -Z. I, know man. I know you know that. I mean, that was probably mad as hell. <laughs> he ain't said He probably was mad as fuck, like, uh, he dude said, on, he on said the road he mad and shit. That bullshit when he fucked he put up the out. house. He threw the TV out the window. Yes. Like, he should be mad at that album he put out at the end of uh, Saturday. Oh, you don't want I mean, I ain't gonna say you don't want to. Yeah, because somebody like it. Somebody gonna like it, man. You know I, mean? I ain't never really hear too much about it after it came out. So. Somebody love it. So man, look man, let's let's get into this. This is what this is the meat and potatoes right here. So mm -hmm. like, listen man, service animals man. Do y'all know what a, the a difference between a service animal and an emotional support dog is? Yes. That's a, uh, you do know what the difference is. Yes. So emotional support person, a service animal is for somebody that got some type of disability, so like blind yeah. or. Yeah, they, it's a trained animal, like, you know what I'm saying? It's trained. Emotional support dog is for somebody that got, like, anxiety or they depressed or you can get a mental, you can get a doctor, a doctor's note that says that you got some type of mental shit going on to where you need this dog. Now, we recently had a lady try to get on a plane with a peacock and they refused her service because the peacock was like, come on, man, it's a peacock, like, it's too big. Like, now, what's crazy is support animals and service dogs can board planes though yeah you know what i'm she saying she bought a seat for that peacock yeah so like that was in her duty but as far as Ooh, you want to be sitting down i don't want to sit down no, i don't yeah that's it all right no so then not. what happens is it's a business uh decision that has to be made because you have other well the plane you know I mean? they can't ref like the plane like the, the plane it's set up with the plane that they can do it. Now, if it's a, a, a business, like a private business or some shit like that, but they is a private business, but I don't know how they separate the plane, but like if a restaurant or a grocery store or something, they can refuse that support animal, not the service animal, but the report, the support animal. Okay. So they have the right to refuse a service. Uh, for the plane? Yeah. I, I don't know because it was a plane. They said a plane, you can I, like, yes. I just wouldn't want to be on the plane with him. Like, it's just a peacock. I just be like, I be, uh. I, the grocery store, bro, like, get out of here. The first time I seen it, man, I was like, hold on, man. Like, she, I was like walking in front of her to see, like, you not blind? Like, what is you in here with this dog for? You can tell because the dogs that's uh, working got vests. Yeah. It's a uniform for a job. Them dogs got jobs. Your animals got jobs. These don't. They just be having a leash. Yeah, like, what's going Catch on? Them like, them like, get out of here. Like, no, man, no, man. That's that's too, this this is what, this is what puts the cherry on top. Like, for real, y'all like, man, these dogs mean more than, than to, more. it mean more than we mean to a lot of people, bro. Like, so, this is a guy in Michigan who got a letter from the government granting his dog unemployment benefits. His dog. Wait, his what? dog. Unemployment benefits. Michael Ryder had been approved for three hundred and sixty dollars a week in Michigan unemployment benefits until the state learned he'd been dogging it at the Detroit area restaurant where he supposedly worked. Ryder is a German Shepherd owned by attorney Michael Haddock on the other side of the state. Haddock said he was indeed surprised when he received a benefits letter addressed to Michael Ryder from Michigan's Unemployment Insurance Agency. The paperwork listed the dog as having, as having been employed by Cruz and Maurer, an upscale food, seafood chain. 
Where did the dog for? How the fuck did the dog get? How the fuck did the dog get fucking job, unemployment, man. nigga? Like, did he, did he work so much? That's what I'm saying. Why would they have hired a dog? How you don't investigate to see if this is a real mother? Don't you need a social security number? Yeah, don't you? Yeah, yeah, they found them. They found them. Somebody cheated. Somebody cheated. How you get that without a fucking... You know what I mean? I Somebody cheated. Dog, man. How you get some fucking unemployment without having a social security number? Unless you made up a social security number for your dog, man. Another one. Another one. This one is worse. This one is worse. Well, no, this is just... No, I don't know. Getting three hundred sixty, getting approved for three hundred sixty a week is a lot. For for the dog, like for the dog, he was gonna get three hundred sixty dollars a week. Yes, he got approved for three hundred sixty dollars a week for unemployment. Did you take it? Oh, when he went to go like see about it and shit, they was like, oh, I don't know how that happened. You didn't send me a check until the lease. All right, so Let's see if that's gonna do it or not. You got a petition going on right now that's proposing an extension of food stamps so pet owners can buy their dogs pet food, bro. So they can buy them dog food, bro. Dogs gonna eat too. Edward B. Johnson Jr., an old man from 58 year old man from Mississippi, says he fell on hard times and can't bear to watch his dog go hungry. There you go. I'm sorry, don't just let him go. So that's why they. Uh, he started the petition. Okay. And they got over a hundred thousand dollars, over a hundred thousand signatures. Mm. He's unable him. to feed his dog due to government regulations and wants the people to sign a position if they think to. They think that they should extend nutrition assistance to pet food. If you let your dog go too long, go hungry too long, they attack you. Look, man, if you can't <laughs> feed the dog, you don't need the dog, right? yeah. like, yeah. Period, like. That dog would have fucked around and snapped on you. You don't feed a dog? I've seen Old Yeller too many times. What you mean? The movie? You don't shoot this dog. They say like, families can't afford pet care, vet bills, even food. It just breaks our heart. You can't have a dog, man. God damn, man! Like, <laughs> what the fuck, man? Well, he really fucked up, and they worried about their dog. <laughs> it's humans out here, bro. Yeah. That's starving, and you want extra money because you was irresponsible, and you got an animal you can't feed, man. Come on, man. Fuck your dog. Terrible. We know people love their pets and will do anything to keep them, and want to make sure people are getting a nutritious diet. But also that their pets are too. Like, hey, get the fuck out of here, man. People are concerned about their animals, though, you know. They said he needed a he needed ninety-five thousand signatures. He surpassed that shit, man. Yeah, he did. It's worldwide news now, man. That's crazy. That's fucking retarded, man. That's crazy. So if he did these dogs food stamps, what do that say? Because I know a lot of black women that work uh, jobs and shit because they make a certain amount of money. Y'all don't give them no stamps at all. And they can sure use it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's fucked up if you extend that for some damn dogs. Like, you know what I'm saying? But they try to look at it like, well, you shouldn't have had them kids then. Like you don't need a dog. You know, but I'm saying kids are different. Kids, right? But they gonna look at it like you shouldn't have had a kid. That's what you get for having a kid out of wedlock. That's what they gonna they gonna bring up wedlock. Drop your dog off somewhere and call the dog pound and say you send a dog on the road. Ah, fuck it. Right, you gotta, uh, you gotta pay if you, you go to jail for that, that, bro. I think. Yeah, you can't. It's, it, it's become. A, it's like that now. You gotta know how to do it, man. You gotta know how to. I don't think you could. You can't leave your dog outside for a half hour in the winter time. You don't do it in the winter, man. I'm just saying, in the winter time, you can't leave your dog outside a half hour. They call the police on you, bro. <laughs> Yeah, every dog I've ever had was outside. Was outside, bro. They just changed the condition of these animals. These animals yeah, the suck, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, like, oh, she just dude. put that diaper on the dog. That dog be sad as hell, man. Cause it got a diaper on. Yeah, that shit. You want to 
don't want that shit on my. What your dog playing? <laughs> Come on, guy. What's your dog playing? We protecting the innocent on here, <laughs> man. <laughs> I, just, I just asked the question. You're not going to tell me. Because people be weird. Motherfucker walk up and just like say the dog's name and shit. Like, here, people be trying to be all good with the dog. Like, what is you doing, man? Don't just walk up on people's dogs trying to touch them and shit, man. You don't know that dog, man. Then you get bit and you be like, oh my god, it's, it attacked me. Like, what is you doing? Like, you know what I'm doing. You walk up on a human, would you walk up on a human and just start touching their nose? Ha ha ha, I've seen it done. Yeah, that's weird. It's on that movie, uh, remember where dude, where they was all trying to, uh, what was doing? Uh, they was all trying to, uh, doing the mascot shit. Oh, and his, his, his wife just was like touching his face. He was like, yeah, like. Yeah, stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you got something on your face, but it's not, just don't just grab at it and not grab. <laughs> yeah, man. A uh, few times, a few stupid gesture, man. The movie about dude that made National Lampoon, man. That's a pretty funny good movie. Doug Kenny, man. I know you seen some of it while he was here. What was it? Dude about dude who made a uh, National Lampoon, dude that was from yeah, Chagrin yeah, yeah. Falls, Ohio, man. Shout yeah. out, you know, Chagrin Falls. Like, that movie was cool, man. Yeah, I enjoyed it. That's crazy. He had all that money, dog. Young as hell. Yeah. Off of, and he, like, changed comedy and shit for real. Like, nobody was really Still doing all that. Props like he Not really. Yeah, I ain't know about him until this. Yeah, right. I ain't no shit about him. Apparently, Chevy Chase had the, the, the blow on deck, though. This dude had a briefcase that was a mirror. And I'm not saying he had a mirror in his briefcase. I'm saying when he popped open his briefcase, this side was a mirror. Just to do blow off of him. Just to do blow off of uh, bro. He had this side is a mirror, for, bro. <laughs> he opened that door. I wonder how he feel about that, though. Chevy Chase? Yeah. I don't know if he signed off on it. Yeah, yeah I wonder well, how he feel. They used his name, so they must have, like, you know what I'm saying? He probably well, might have told the story, like, oh, he did a oh, ton of blow back out. then. This year. Yeah, Chevy Chase has deteriorated since the couple, a couple years ago. He said, like, che apparently Chevy Chase is saying nigga. Like loose, is he? Yeah, and then when when somebody oh. when somebody boomed down on him about it, he was like, "This oh no 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 no, Richard Pryor said I was cool." <laughs> he said that. Yeah, yeah, that was his excuse. Like he was on set saying nigga, and somebody's like, "Chevy, you can't be you can't be doing that, man. That's no, no, no. it's a violation." And he was like, "No, Richard Pryor said I was cool, so I'm talking." That's about out of control. Man. He's old and he's losing. I don't he's, give a fuck. He's slipping. He's slipping. He's slipping. I don't give a fuck. Ain't that old. Yeah, dog. For you to just so when you get old, you allowed to just. Nah, you saying? You losing his facilities a little bit. Yeah, maybe that's just what was inside the whole time. It's Probably just coming out, knows. flying out now. God damn. The community got to. Well, yeah, you had the powder yeah, on deck, bro. Know, he's seventy four. You had the powder on deck, bro. You know what I'm saying? He had the powder on deck. Powder on deck, and not only that. Remember, they was on the. Uh, out there talking about they was sober for six days, and then he was like, "Yeah, call your guy." Yes. Then he had tennis that towel balls. on his face. Yeah, it came through in tennis balls. Yeah, full, full of full of y'all. Like yeah, a case of tennis balls. Yeah, mountains, bro. Yeah, he, he was a millionaire. Yeah, uh, sheesh. Yeah. He looked like Benjamin Franklin. And they smoke his figures. Yeah, Chevy Chase out here looking like Benjamin Franklin mm -hmm. now, bro. He was like, you, maybe you should go fly a kite on a, a lightning storm so you could get shocked or something so you quit saying nigga out your mouth and shit. Sure. Shit, man. That nigga put the towel over his face and was snorting the powder. The old girl came in and like, Chevy been gone. Yeah. He didn't even know Chevy wasn't even there no more. That was mm -hmm. crazy. Did you say he's 74, nigga? Dr. Sebi was the Black History Month moment, nigga. Dr. Sebi was 81 years old, falling to his knees, loud as hell, and getting right the fuck back up, bro. He also had a different diet than Chevy Chase. True. I'm sure the high wings is tearing that man up right now. I'm like, man. Hey. Yeah, so that, that, that's that. So... Hey, well, I just came across something very disturbing, man. Like, this shit. Yo, dog, this shit weird, man. Like, Oh, no, bro. Yeah, I'm not, no. What is you doing? Oh, no, I don't want to see that. Line, 
On what? Facebook? Yeah. What? what? What is it? I don't want to uh, say yeah, that. I'm not even going to say that on here. Yeah, right? yeah, that shit weird, yo. Who put that up there? I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to say the person's name, but it's... Who put it up It's there? a child of... It's, it's basically... Who is that, though? I don't know. Oh, that. somebody... The news put it out there. Yeah, it's on the web. It's on a uh, yeah, it's on a website. It's not where, it's on where did that happen? At? Uh, oh, I mean, we just took a, a super L, bro. That's who? Who is we? Us as a people, bro. Right? Yes. God. All it says: video of a man molesting a child, saying, "For please let help, let's help kick against child abuse, send this to others to just cooperate." It's, or oh, this cooperative food is fences out from hide and see video above. We ever put this up, man. That is ridiculous, man. Yeah, on on to the man. So the Indians is talking about fucking removing the fucking label, the the Yahoo off of the goddamn The Chief, yeah, the, the Chief off of the uniforms. But they still don't sell the shit though. So what do that really even the, well, they gonna stop putting it as the face of the franchise. Well, they gonna, gonna it's not going to be on the uniform. It's still going to be in the stadium and all that shit. Oh, man, what's the point? It's like, it's on the field. This is the on-field presentation. Oh, yeah. I don't like that shit either. And you think about it, man, all of the logos is, is racist as fuck. The one, the yellow one, oh, my God, dog. Wahoo is pretty bad, though. The cheap yeah. As far as being offensive, yeah. I don't necessarily. I, me personally, I don't find it offensive, but I will say I'm not Native American, so because if it, it was a not Native American, bro, you would be like, if it was well, like, I mean, like the Cleveland Blackies, and it was Cleveland a black face nigga, you would be mad as hell, dog. It, 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 it depends on it depends on how it's done. It's like how the Caucasian shirts is, where they got the white dude yeah, with the, the tie hair and shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that, they don't like people don't like that. It pisses them off. I don't know, man. The Indians logo, man. I just feel like I got an Indians hat on the side of it. I got embroidered. Yeah, I mean, comment. I'm saying you got the hat. Ain't nothing wrong. Ain't yeah. nothing wrong. Hey, but comment. Well, I mean, some people are offended I'm by saying, the hat. I'm saying, like, no, no, no. I'm saying, well, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, like, the team. They got more of a responsibility, like, you know, they got the option to change you think that the shit. Washington Redskins they not do it already. Hell yeah, dude. He not said gonna, he's not, he's gonna not change changing that at all. You think it's offensive? And he went to go he went to go visit a reservation or something afterwards. Or okay. something. Like, man, get out of here. Bro. Okay. Well, see, that's something that I had said not too long ago. They should get they should donate a profit or a proceed to um, Indian reservations. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? I think that would be fair. Um, hey, it's a uh, cop out. But also, that's like saying I can come call you nigga every day as long as I give you ten dollars. Well, my thing is, man, I I don't know, man. I don't really find it offensive. I feel like the Redskins logo is like that shit look powerful to me. I mean, I don't know. I don't see what it's offensive about. But I'm also not Native American, so it's not my place to really say if it is or if it isn't offensive. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I find and that I wish, I wish there was a sport team, out, a sport team out here with like centered center around like maybe the Zulus. You know what I'm saying? They're not like, gonna do it respect. It's gonna be the Chicago Coons. You know, they're you not know, gonna do it respect. Yeah, what makes you think they're gonna be yeah, nice? It's about not gonna be it. respectful, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, nice. that's Chicago Coons, huh? So. You know, man, anything y'all niggas want to say before y'all get up out of here, man? Yo, man, just uh, be on the lookout for Hey Young World. We got a lot of great things coming. Uh, Jimmy Smooth, Ben Flyson, 84 part 2 on Instagram, Hey Young World Media, gmail.com. Uh, if I forgot anything else, I'll catch you next time. That's nice. Listen, let me uh, also shout out Hey Young World, everything. And go find us on Twitter, find us on, uh, what's the other one, uh, Instagram, find us on Facebook, find us, whatever you do, find us, Hey Young World, uh, Hey Young World Media, get, get some of that. Uh, personally. <laughs> <laughs> That's mine, man. Oh, this man, nigga didn't drink my water, bro. This nigga, <laughs> man. God damn, boy.
Nah, man. So what I'm gonna end on, man? We gonna do it, man. It is February. Oh shit, my bad. That's fine. My bad, bro. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Knock it out. Knock it out. Check out on a more personal note. Uh, so I got a couple seconds. Nah, listen uh, or go find Johnny Hunter Jr. on Facebook. If you don't put the Jr., it's a whole different dude. Um, Rogue Scholar 19, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, everywhere. Find me, follow me, chase me. Let's do it. You want to get chased? Yeah, this is figuratively speaking. <laughs> They say, follow me. I'm running. I'm on, I'm on my way somewhere. Chase me. That's what's up, man. So, what I'm going to get out of here with, man, it is February. It is Black History Month, man. I'm going to jump off the porch with Eartha Kitt, man. And, uh, you know, she was born in uh, South Carolina, a famed singer and actress. Uh, her mother abandoned her, and she was left to care. she was left in care of relatives who mistreated her. And Kit was often teased and picked on because of her mixed race and heritage. Her father was white, and her mother was an African American in Cherokee. At the age of eight, she moved to New York City to live with her aunt. She then started going to a performing arts school. And at the age of 16, she won a scholarship to study with Catherine Dunham, and later joined Dunham's dance troupe. A. I believe troupe. that's how you say it. Is it just troupe? Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought it was going to be different because they bring up Paris later and shit. Nah, no, it's troupe. Alright, so, yeah, I don't get it. Alright. She toured with the group several years before uh, going solo in Paris. Kit became a popular nightclub singer. She was discovered in Europe by the actor and director Orson Welles. Welles, who reportedly called her the most exciting woman alive. And cast her as Helen of Troy in his production of Dr. Faustus. Kit became a rising star with her appearance in Broadway. Review New Faces of 1952 in the production she sang uh, a song and her performance helped launch her career with the release of her first album in 1954. On the big screen she starred opposite of Nat King Cole in the W.C. Handy biopic St. Louis Blues and she netted her one and only Academy nomination the following year for her role as title character Anna LaCosta. In, her, in the film, Kid pays a sassy young woman who was forced to use her womanly wiles to survive. She stars opposite of Sammy Davis. She also was Catwoman in the 1960s on the TV series Batman. Um, yeah. And so she was doing that, uh, little Catwoman. Uh, known for being blunt and short-tempered at times, Kat found herself in the media firestorm in 1968. She attended a luncheon on the subject on juvenile delinquency and crime, hosted by Lady Bird Johnson at the White House. At the event, Kent shared her thoughts on the matter, telling the First Lady you send the best of this country off to be shot and maimed. According to the Washington Post, no wonder the kids were rebel and smoke and smoke pot. Ain't nothing wrong with we, Eartha. Her remarks against the Vietnam War offended Johnson and May Highline. She was then what many people say was blackballed from performing. In 1978, she enjoyed a career renaissance with a performance in Broadway. So she, they not, they tried to get her out for uh, a couple years and shit. Tried to blackball her, but moral of the story, man, Eartha Kid like used to. Uh, be a activist as well, man. She did a lot of stuff for the community, man. Uh, her doing that, she was even uh, being watched by the CIA during after that, where she did that at the White House. The CIA started watching her and investigating her, just like they did Martin, just like they did Malcolm. Any black person that was speaking of back then. So, Eartha Kid. Most of y'all probably only know Eartha Kid from Boomerang uh, with Eddie Murphy. The older lady he was working for that he had to have sex with. What was her name in that movie? Lady Weeze. 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 Yeah, okay. Eloise. Lady Eloise. Lady Eloise, yeah. Remember that nigga had her had that uh, perfume Lady bottle Lady out of her? Out of the The new, the new. That's like one of my favorite movies. <gasps> Yeah, yeah. Fucking cry. Yeah. David Allen Green was mad as hell Eddie Murphy was popping off Halle Berry, bro. Yeah, that, that's he didn't like that. Yeah, her, her, her finest. Was it her finest? Yeah, I think so. Was it her finest? That's her finest? 
Uh, yeah, because when she had the job at the end, she looked real good. Yeah, her hair was starting to go a little longer, but she had it. Well, no, she had it like. She had the hat on, though. No, at the end? At the <coughs> It was just. Yeah. She was in the office. Like, she had like the almost like peaches from Low Down Dirty Shame joint where it was like jail down or some shit. Nah, it was longer than that. Oh, she had like a bang or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I need to watch that. I'll, I'll, I'll find it and put it right here on the screen. It'll be That's right on the screen. I'll find it. That'll be what she did. We can't seem to. If you ain't ever seen that movie, man, you gotta go. You gotta uh, see that shit. Yeah, man, uh, you know, shout out Earth the Kid, though, man, uh, next week, man, to end it, man, you know, if any of y'all be on the show next week, man, I would, I would like y'all to bring an African-American, I love you. I you know what I'm saying, and, and discuss that African-American, how you, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna have one, you know what I'm saying. My mother just got those Black History flashcards. Uh, I don't You gonna play Drunk Uno with those or something? Drunk flashcards, try to incorporate, go get some Henny. Get some Henny. Nah, go get some Amsterdam, some Bud Ices. What are you saying about my mother? I'm just talking shit. Nah, we're not, we ain't got shit to do with your mom, man. You don't talk about my moms, yo. <laughs> it's all nah, this man. Uh, Urban Logic Show, man. We out of here, man. Yeah. Hit that subscribe, man. I didn't even say it at the beginning, man. Hit that subscribe, man. Hit that like, man. Comment, comment on this shit. Roast me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's that's gonna be hilarious. We could address it on the next episode. Niggas let us see your shit online and be like, bro, I seen your shit. They ain't like nothing. Yeah, they don't do nothing. I don't care I about that. Shit, man. Though. You know what I'm saying? That shit corny, man. They don't like, like, they don't that's like blowing the horn. I think I was talking about this on AM hey World well yesterday. That's like blowing, blowing the horn at a motherfucker you see walking or something. And you don't have me. no intention of picking it up. I can't pick you up. Why blow the horn at him then? My nigga! Nah, nigga, they keep pushing. What's nigga. good, yo? Nigga, just Obviously not us. Because a, like, like, a nigga might be like, because like, a nigga might be like, a nigga might be like, a nigga might be like, shit, I have. Man, if you see me walking and you have no intention to pick up. I had somewhere to go, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't say that. Nigga be like, shit, I seen you earlier. You ain't even act like you seen me or nothing, nigga. Why are you acting funny? I don't know, I don't know, At least if I blow the horn, you know, like, nah, this real. Nah, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't see it. I was on my way somewhere. I'd rather you just keep it pushing. No, no, no. Oh, that's my nigga. You not gonna stop? That's not my nigga, though. If you do that. What if I got a car full of kids and everything? And we back. You so gonna pull up on you, stop and talk to you? Like, yeah, you just come and just walk into the window and look. <laughs> You know how niggas walk up on cars and be with that bitch like. <laughs> trying to look in, you see how Warren trying to see what activities niggas got going on. I don't really like niggas walking up on cars. Oh, that's the that's trying to get in. Yeah, that's the nigga that's trying to get in. Yeah. He want to jump. Don't have that nothing to do with that. Yeah, that's the nigga that's trying to get in. But you know who you are, man. I was with a couple friends of mine, and nigga was walking across the bridge. Right? Jimmy Smooth had to go, man. He just got up and left. Yeah, all of a sudden. Hey, man. So, if you edit that right, man. I ain't editing this shit. You're not editing the video? No, for what? You got up, nigga. I'm about to stop talking. I'm about to go. It's about to be over with anyway. All right, so look. So organic here, man. I'm not cutting none of that out. Alright, so uh my dude was walking across the bridge on uh Stoner. You know what I'm talking about when you go past Norm and shit to go over the bridge and get to the back. Yeah, alright, so dude was walking back there, niggas pull up, like, dude, like, what's up, y'all? Like he trying to hop in and shit. They like, yeah, you gotta give me twenty dollars to get in the car and shit. Not only do you gotta give me twenty dollars, you going right to the liquor store and you gotta buy a bottle. So, he get in the car, he with it, he like, okay, I'm trying to kill with y'all, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? So, this nigga like, tell him when he just got paid and shit. So, this nigga goes to the liquor store, buys the bottle of choice, goes back, make him buy weed off of them to smoke, give, don't give him the rest of the weed, he see a hat on the table and think it's tight, and he be like, man, this hat tight. Like, not only do it don't fit, dude telling me he want 50 for it because it's limited, 
and he gave him the 50 for it and make him pay to get dropped off where he had to go. Nigga, what? This nigga gave him about hundred dollars for nothing. And that's just being on the next. Like, and like you, if you had you not gotten that car, you would have uh, all, all that money would still be in your. How possession. much money do you think you spent to get in the car? Uh, Fifty for the hat, twenty get in. The yeah. bottle probably was like thirty, maybe. So that's that's a hundred right there. Fire up. Then he had to fire up. That's another twenty. Yeah, so he just wanted to be done. He just wanted to be done, and that's all it be, man. Brandy, bro, you know what I'm saying? Be down, like. Well, what you going through? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whatever it is. Hey, man, man that nigga want to know, like Joe, bro. Yeah, that's, that's not right. Terrible. But yeah, man. Urban Logic Show, got my niggas in the bill, man. We in here, man. That's just how it's going to be, god damn it. And I say god damn it, like G-O-T. G-O-T?